All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at the Tekken World Tour Master Event here in Europe. We're in Wods, Poland, and we're going to find out who are the remaining players that are going to be making it into our top 32, which will be happening tomorrow at noon local time. My name is Mark Van. I'm here with Will Van, and we're going to be calling up our next match. We have District G's Kane and Trench up. And, you know, he's been playing... Uh, Pretty well, I would say, throughout yeah. the entire day. We've only seen... Uh, we've, we've only seen him play once on stream, and yeah. it was quite convincing. You know? But his opponent is uh, the Italian player, Ricky Maru. Yeah, who's a, a legendary Xiaoyu player. Yeah. He's also been in the scene for a really long time. And I think this is the winner's finals for the pool? Yeah. Yeah. So there's two spots left for the top 32 brackets. That's going to be happening tomorrow. Uh-huh. And then after this, we have, of course, we're going to have the Pool 15 Winners Finals. And that's going to be District G's Ru Kang from the UK versus uh, Devil Kazuya from Italy. Ooh, that's also a nice one. That should be a nice match to watch. Yeah. These kind of matches I like to see, like the UK versus Italy, because they both think that they're the strongest nation. Oh, yeah. Let them, let, them, let them debate. Let them battle. That's what I want to see. <laughs> So we have the best Yoshi of uh, Europe Round versus one. the best Ling of Europe. Here we go. Fight. Round one. Down for one. I think he's using the down for one to get out of the AP. But no AOP yet, so... Yeah, we'll see how this comes into play. And you know, Yoshimitsu, one of those characters, man, he can be either replayed straight up or he can be played full of tricks. And I wonder yeah. what we're going to see. And in most, of, for the most part, I've seen Kane and He's been playing a very honest, very solid game with his pokes. Yeah, that's true. Even Nia said that as well. Yeah. Um, he said it once in a stream and someone wrote an article about it. Oh, that, wow. That uh, Kane and Trench played really straight. Not like uh, I'm Musician, who's more uh, you know, a fancy schmancy uh, Yoshimitsu player. And the back to two. Wow. To get him out of the AOP. That was really close that first round. Here we go. What? Got a float. Near the wall. Cancel oh, it. Going the other way. Change. Nice. Gets the launch punish there. <gasps> and again, everyone falls for that at the wall. It's so good. Unblockable. You can delay it. Hey, you hold it out? Hold it. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Hold it and make them hold it. <laughs> All right, here. Oh, it's a stab. You can't escape that one. Wow. Oh, uh, Fabuki knee. The follow up here. Looking to close it out. That might be enough. I don't it, agree with that uh, hop kick. You know, it was too far away. I don't know what it was expecting. Yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe he thought something was coming in. Maybe he thought he was going to be able to clip him on the way in. But just uh -huh. like that, you know, two rounds straight there for Kane and Trench. Doesn't matter, he got the hop kick right now. So oh, AOP 2-1 follow up here. Lost plan. Ooh, goes for the low. Nice block, but still able to get the follow up damage and the storming flower. Oh, oh interrupts oh, oh, oh. the rage drive. And all those pokes at the end ended up working oh, out. Yeah. So right now, two rounds to one. Fight. This battle here between the UK and Italy. Yeah. Oh, underneath the duck, uh, underneath the troll. Yeah, as we mentioned, Kenny Trench uh, hot off of his performance at Damage Germany, where he got second place. Yeah. Only lost to knee. Only lost to knee. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Able to get that rage drive. The follow up here, pushing yeah, at the wall. Is it going to be wall? enough? One mix up, don't There's get no up. Oh, oh, I told you not to get up. He held it, he held it. He held it, and Ricky Maru received. Even me got hit by that. Even Everybody me. got hit by it. Even me. Wow. Kane Entrance looking real confident right now. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. I think that's what. Uh, what makes a good player, you know? It's not only you have to learn your character, you have to know how to play it, but also your uh, mentality in the tournament as uh -huh. well. Because you gotta stay focused because any kind of distraction might, might, might influence that. Oh wow, interesting. We're going to the geometric plane and that's a stage that never comes up as well. That and the Kinder Gym, very rare stages to show up in the random select box. Coincidence? Maybe, I don't know. And uh, looks like a switch to Nina Williams. Nina Williams, yes. In Tag 2, he played Nina Ling. I'm curious about this Nina. Right now. This be fun. Yeah, I think last year during the TWT events, we saw a lot of uh, his Nina as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mitrus. Mitrus, I'm sorry. 
I am. This follow up here, Crouch Dash 2. Nice. Oh, good duck. Door docker. All right, the side step one plus two here. And Kanan Trench seemingly playing a little bit cautious here at the wall. Oh, able oh, to get the confirmation yeah. there. The wall splat looking to close it out. Nope, doesn't get it. Fish oh, stuff. nice fishing it. They trade blows. Oh, and the dial for one. Yeah, and Kanan Trench playing very clean there. Yeah. Pressuring at the wall. <laughs> Interesting, it's making Yoshimitsu look like more of a rushdown character than Nina is. <laughs> wow. Nice good block th there, not not fast enough for a punish there. Kanan Trench is really good at that, at blocking the small, little lows. Yeah, and you would think sometimes, it's like, how did you react to that, or why is he ducking, right? Is it is it reaction or intuition? You never know. You never know. It's hard to tell, I mean, because he's getting the right punishes when he needs to as well. Mm -hmm. It looks like his reflexes are working out, at least in, in, in that end. Yeah. Oh, down forward two. Towards the wall. Looks really hot for Mitra Storm. And I apologize, I said the wrong name. Oh, one plus two throw. Not broken. He gets up. Nina with rage. Ah, the down forward one. And much like we saw in the last round, ended it with a down forward one there. Playing very clean, and you know, his his control of the poke game mm -hmm. has really been something overwhelming here for uh, Mr. Storm. Yeah. Oh, that sweep. I hate that sweep. And that's guaranteed that follow up. Oh, yeah. I mean, she had a lot worse stuff in the past, but man, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, Flash. Also, a really good uh, tool for Yoshimitsu. Yeah. yeah. One of the fastest moves in the game. Yeah. Kind of punish moves that normally aren't punishable. Yep. But as a Yoshi player, you should know all of them. But it's so hard to do. Yeah. Oh, and he got it! Man, in, in straight rounds there, Kane and Trench makes it out in winner's side of top 32 from his pool. It's such an amazing performance. But of course, Mr. Storm will have a chance in the loser's bracket. Yeah. He just has to win one more and make it out there. But man, we'll see. It's going to be tough. Like I said, so many great players left. We're whittling down the matches, trying to figure out who our top 32 is going to be. And that's going to be happening tomorrow around noon time. Locals, local, noon local time tomorrow at 12 p.m. I think there's only a couple more matches left. Uh, there, there, there's the a number of matches, yeah. yeah. Let me see what we have next. Let me bring it up. Top 30, because normally the plan was to go to top 8 today. But yeah. I don't think we got enough time to do that. Yeah, so. we started a little bit late, so unfortunately mm -hmm. we're not able to fulfill all the matches that we no. were planning. But it just means we're going to have a more action-packed Tekken day tomorrow. So it'll be a bit more balanced. We won't just have two hours of Tekken. We'll have maybe five, six hours of Tekken tomorrow. So it should be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. All right, so I believe it's going to be District G's Rukang versus HG Devil Kazuya. Another UK versus Italy matchup. Yeah. Is that who we have uh, sitting down? We'll find yes, out. Yes, the, the one right. sitting down is uh, Rukang. It's now on screen right now. Sponsored by District G. His opponent, Hells Gamers, Devil Kazuya, Italian team, Italian player. Got a bit of a problem with the cons uh, controls, I think. But no, it looks like they're going to figure it out. Yeah. They're trying to make sure they're synced in, ready to go. Yeah. And again, it's been a fun-filled day of tech, and I, I don't know, I'm going to try to get uh, from our team who has been qualified so far for our top 32. Maybe they can put it in the document so I can read it off to the, everyone in the crowd. It's already 30, 30, 30 places? 30 people, 30 entrants in the top 32? Yeah, we're, we're still trying to... Actually, no, so oh, uh, we just figured out pool 13, which was Kane Trench, so pool 15 is going on right now. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we have to figure out Pool 14 and 16, so we have three more to go. Three more. Yeah. Uh, that's just on the winner side, so we still have to find out the loser side as well. It's actually just one giant big bracket. Yeah. yeah. That's that's really what it is in reality. Yeah. What do you think of the double elimination versus uh, round robin in pools? It depends. I mean, it depends on the amount of players and... Uh, and the format overall. I know we yeah. do round robin for our world finals, or we've done it in the past, where it was round robin play. The people that have scored the highest will make it out into our bracket yeah. play. 
So it really depends on the type of format and what's what's available. I mean, if you have obviously tons and tons of players, maybe bracket play is better to go. Mm -hmm. But if you have a focused, uh, limited amount of players, maybe it's it's uh, round robin. So it really depends on uh, the type of tournament that's going to happen. Uh, obviously, for Tekken World Tour, we have to stick to the the bracket play. Yeah. That's just how it goes for for the the TWT events. The double nation brackets yep. into. Uh, yep. Looks like the players are getting ready to go here. We are at the character select screen. We're going to find out who they're going to be choosing in the matchup, but uh, something tells me we already know who they're picking. Yeah. So Ru Kang picking Bob. Bob, as usual. But Devil Kazuya, is he going to be Devil Jin? We'll see. Might yeah, it looks him. like it. Yeah. So this should be you know, an interesting match because both of these characters can punish one another pretty hard, but it's not going to matter because we don't have any walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're oh, going to shake on it. All right, here we go. Man, no walls have been popping up a lot lately. Yeah. It's an epidemic. But there are only two stages that have no walls in the game, right? Yes, yeah, feels like half of the stages have no walls. <laughs> That's what it feels like, because sometimes it happens just more often than not. I think, uh, do you think a stage can influence a player's performance? Of like course, of course, of course. Like, certain characters will have to work much harder without walls, for mm -hmm. sure. Just because their, their overall damage output isn't there. Yeah. I, think the, perfect, I yeah. think the perfect example is Josie. Is Josie's not going to kill you uh, in two in two mix-ups unless she has walls. Yeah. Okay. Second one, one, two. Up forward, four. You know, Devil Jin has really good tools. He's, according to uh, JCR, Devil Jin is the best Mishima that you could play. Like, not only for the hell sweep, but uh, the up forward, four, the down back two. Uh, he's got a, a good rage drive. You know. Got decent damage out of it. And it's yeah. got also, the other tools that the Mishimas have. Yeah, and like, that's his 15 frame launcher right there. The easy yeah. mode version. Uh, the can can kicks. Yeah. Like, if you can't do the fast electric, you have to go for that, right? <laughs> Round two. But there's just so many tools that this character has. Yeah. Not just that, if you add counter hit into play, it changes everything as well. The counter hit back forward, the counter hit down forward too, as well. Just a lot of different options and a lot of things that can really benefit his game. Yeah. There's the Shining Fist combo again. Not just that, the additional moves that he's gotten um, in the update for Tekken 7. He has while standing 1 4 now, which is a knockdown uh, it's while standing a, punish. A yeah. Good while standing punish. Yeah. yeah. Actually do. Something that he's never had in the past where he would just have to opt for doing tsunami kicks mm -hmm. or once it gets towards negative 14 state where you have to go for the while standing 2. King's got a good putting work. Oh! I think he tried to do a lost thing too there. Yeah, and that's the other thing, you know, uh, as far as tracking moves and uh, tracking ability, he has certain things where he's like, you know, he could wave dash in, he could go for the cancel for the laser cannon, he could go for the forward, forward, forward. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of great moves that he has overall. But man, a perfect there from Rukang fighting back here with Bob. Fight. Bob definitely no slouch. He's kind of like a junior Mishima. He has a hell sweep. Uh, he has a crouch dash one. If he hits counter hit, kind of works like similarly to an electric one Godfist. Yeah. A Mishima light. Yeah. yeah. A heavy uh, light, I guess. <laughs> nice power crush there with a demon corpse thrust. Goes for the raid kick to follow there. That's punishable. Great Good punish. Punished. Now try to keep him away, but rage now available for Bob, giving him access to both his rage art and let's not talk about his rage art. No one uses that. Yeah. Oh. Except for now. <laughs> Commentator's curse Commentator's into the mix up. There we go. Ah, up for four. Yeah, Such trying to force a mix-up there. I think that really is the only use of, of his rage drive is to force the mix-up. But even then, that's a, such a risk. And that's one of those moves that you don't even see being comboed. He doesn't want him to duck. That's why he uses, abuses the up forward four. So he got hit by it a lot. Yeah. Get ready for the next battle. Barukangs, he's not out yet. Alright, starting it off. Let the show begin. This is gonna be crucial. And we're this in the Howard to say, I still wanna see the bottom part of the stage. We Let's haven't get seen there. it all day. Me and Spag, we were begging for it. We really wanted to see this, uh, the, the garden. Yeah. Three wall breaks. Uh, no, two wall breaks and a dolphin breaks. A bit hard. 
There we go, Devil. Because he already put a lot of damage out against Wu Kang. Got his throw broken. Up forward four again. He knows how to use it, when to use it. I don't know if uh, Wu Kang is ducking. He knows if he's ducking or he just throws it out. Basically, you can throw it out the up forward four because it's safe. Nice duck. Front front two. Into a hell sweep. Oh, nice whiff punish on that whiff power crush. We go with Devil Jim. Oh, with the last electric. Oh, I think that was electric as well. You can avoid that last hit of the swing of a pop by sidestepping. Look at these both of these players looking for that opening. Wow, they oh, trade wow. blows into the shoulder oh, tackle. He could get a combo out yeah, of that. that was counter. He probably yeah. could have picked him up afterwards. Oh my gosh, That's be careful! <laughs> Has him at the wall. Gonna have to get out of there. Oh, nice block. What? No dumb. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, these guys are like fighting. Wow. Tapping each other back and forth. Devil Kazuya was the more patient player that game. Wow. Wow. To the wall. Okay. Wow, running three. Power crush. They trade. <laughs> I love the trade animation. Like, it goes black and it's. Yeah, it's like a huge, like, slash across yeah. the screen. Oh, look at that. He's looking to close it out here. One more hit could do it. Oh, is that it? He oh, does. what a bad way to die. But man, Devil Kazuya moving on, and we will see him in our top 32. That was the winner side finals, of course. Still got a shot in the loser's finals. Yeah. yeah. So I believe our next matchup is from pool number 14, and this is going to be our winner's final. We're going to have Gerber from Poland and going up against Sion from Italy. Sion from Italy. Who played Kazumi, right? I, uh, thought, I really yeah. thought he, w he would play, because I remember when I played him in Tag 2, he played, I think, I, I want to say Devil Chin and Armor King, but now he, he switched to uh, a Kazumi? Switch. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Switching to Kazumi is also smart, very smart. Simple character. No? What are other simple characters? You know, you, we got Kazumi, we got Paul. Dragonov. Dragonov? Yeah. Except the instant while running to us. Oh, I don't think... It's that difficult. I mean, no. it's just you hit the direction three times really fast, right? Just really fast. It's just something that uh, you have to get instilled in your muscle memory and your execution. Mm -hmm. Like most things, I mean, even if you don't don't do it instantly, he's still a good character. Yeah. Not a lot of Jack play now. I mentioned because Jack is also a, a kind of a, a top tier character. Oh yeah, he's definitely a very strong character. I mean, especially in tournament play. Mm -hmm. um, but we haven't seen a lot of him this tournament. We yeah. saw Love Need from India use him. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of Jack mains here, so oh, that's, that's probably why we haven't seen him. Well, we do have a Jack player in our top 32 in Love Neat. He's in the winner's side. Of course, Joey Fury from Team Circa, he's also a Jack player, so I'm sure we'll see him tomorrow. Yeah. But just not on the main stage. We haven't seen a lot of that character, of course. How are you holding up, Markman? I'm doing pretty well. I mean, we're whittling down on the match. We're getting closer <laughs> towards the end. Uh, it's later than I thought it would be <laughs> when we were going to be ending, but we're going to be ending probably in the next few minutes, or next, I'd say, a few matches. Mm -hmm. So Did I think we have two matches left. Two matches? Yeah, we have two matches left. Wait, so this and then the loser finals of that other pool? And no, we have right? the winner's finals of pool 16 mm -hmm. after this one. And those are the last two matches. But then you, you said that Rukan was the one from the winner's bracket that he just lost, so he must be in the loser's finals of your bracket. Or it might be loser's finals. I'm not no, sure. No, no, we're going to see the other's winner, <laughs> winner bracket match. So the rest of the stuff is going to be played off stream, but we're going to see the winner's final of Pool 16 where it's going to be Phantom from the UK. Yeah. Uh, we don't know who his opponent is yet, but we're going to oh. find out pretty okay. soon. Who cares about a bracket? So I just want to see some Tekken. Yeah. I think it's kind of amazing, like how how did all these Tekken World Tour events all got started. Before you know it, you have an event with 190 entrants, people from I think 15 or 16 different countries all here together to play Tekken. Yep.
<laughs> the Phantom came here to correct us. Yep. We don't. We we're not allowed to call him Phantom. No, it's we. I I don't want to butcher anyone's names. You got to say it the right way. The Phantom. D. The. There are no others. Only him, and that's the Phantom. Alright, looks like both of the players are getting ready. Oh. So it's going to be Kazumi versus Feng Wei. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. And what pool was this? 14? Uh, this was pool 14, yeah. I think the next one is going to be 16. Feng versus Kazumi. Round one. Here we go. One. Stars up with the low. Herber with his Feng. The low pokes are. Feng's low pokes are really good. Nice. Able to get the hot knee follow up here. Should be able. No, it doesn't get it. Miss input, maybe? Maybe. But was very low to the wall there, so might not have even been able to get the forward one plus two in time. There's the wild running too. Too much. Nice. Able to hit him right out of it. Wow. There's such confidence there. Pulling out the Tiger Uppercut. Fight. Now what's going to happen? Oh, While setting four attack back lands. Back one. Wow. Great there use of pokes here from Xeon. Uh, that didn't work because of the angle at the wall. Oh, oh. Here comes Feng Wei. Oh, going back the other way with the Spring Kick. The follow up here goes for the mid option. No punish. Oh, I can't believe he didn't hit it in time, and that's going to be it. Sion is up two rounds to nothing right now. Poland versus Italy. Gerber versus Sion. Oh, there you go. That's a wall. Yep. One plus two. Gets the follow up here. What's he going to do here? Goes for the option, but for that, that, that did not work out, but it worked out at the same time because he ended up getting a perfect. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. All he right. tried to end it with a throw for a perfect, but yeah. Yeah, but look at that. Up 1-0 in quick fashion right now. Three straight rounds. Something's going to have to give here. You're going to have to make some adjustments. Yeah. We're going to stage select. The <laughs> same stage. I like how this happens all the time. Wow. We forgot to say, oh, no, it's going to be the same This is stage. like the sixth or seventh time that's happened. Yeah. Here we go. Game two between Gerbert and Siam. Italy versus Poland. Let's see if uh, Gerbert can make something work because the last wow. game didn't look too good for him. Fight. All right, let's see how this one starts off because, you know, it was a beatdown in the last set yeah, that they had. I, I didn't want to say it because yeah, maybe it sounded too me. I'll say it. <laughs> oh, and we're going to go downstairs too? Yeah, wow. we are. Into the instant running two here. Now pushing towards the other side of the stage. Now just that there's a wall break on the other side. Let's see if we're going to make use of it. A nice back two. Caught him moving. Caught him moving again. Wow. And a down for one. Again, a perfect. That was a long battle to get that perfect. But man, everything counted there. Yeah, two perfects in a row. Nice. Back swing into the uh, launch. Yeah. Oh, backwards hop knee. One Going the other way. Oh, this is the break. Look at that extra damage here. Now what? Oh, caught him ducking. That's the third time like he, he got hit by it. He did it three times in a row. Yeah. Wow. Down for one to end the round. 
And just like that, much like the first match, he is going in, and Zeon looking to make it out here on the winner's side in pool 14. Kind of looks free. Yeah, look at all that damage. Oh my gosh, he got mid hits. And again, the. Oh no, this go. could be the start. He, he was so confused. He definitely he wasn't was confused. Sure that it was, uh... I'm not sure why he used it so early, but man, he has another chance. Never mind. And Sion moving on and taking that winner's spot into the top 32. But Gerber has a chance in the loser's bracket. He just has to win one more match. So we're going to go to our Pool 16 finals where we have District G's The Phantom. The Phantom. And he's going to go up against Blackbeard. Ah, <gasps> oh, this is a match I want to see. Oh, yeah. UK versus Denmark. Wow. UK versus Denmark. You know, uh, Blackbeard, personal friend of These mine. These guys have played before. Yeah, they play, they played a lot. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, at many other tournaments. You know, at last year, at the regional tournament of uh, the European yes. World Tour. Yes, the finals, right? The finals. Uh, Blackbeard was the one who won it. Mm -hmm. But in his pool, there was the Phantom. And normally the Phantom could defeat him, but he wasn't there. He, he missed his train or he missed oh, his fight. Oh, he missed Again, it. It's tradition with him. Oh, it's so, wow. All right. So this is maybe redemption for him yeah. to be able to fight and play and hopefully make it out on the winner's side. So again, this is going to be a decisive one. This is going to be our last match on stream today. The rest of the matches are going to be played offline. And we'll, of course, update everyone when we go live tomorrow who's going to be in our top 32. But man, there's going to be... There's so many be, good matches. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah. It should be fun. Yeah. Especially because we got, we got like a healthy mix of uh, uh, nationalities. You know? Koreans, obviously. Um, I think we got, we got a couple of uh, Polish players as well. Uh, Italians and UK. You know, we're all well represented. America, can't forget about our yeah. boy Joey. I, if Curry. one person is well represented, I agree. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He played well. He played really early today. Yeah, he you know? played really early. He was in the earlier pools, so we're going to see, of course, how he's going to do tomorrow. Top 32. Uh, it's still quite a way to go to the top eight. You still got to win a few matches on your, if you're on the winner's side, and you have to win a lot more matches on the loser's side. So yeah. it's going to be a struggle for anyone that's in that, in that thick of things. So Blackbeard getting ready, putting the headset on. Mm -hmm. and, he doesn't you know, want to get distracted. He's a representative of that Josie Rizal. Yeah. And the Phantom now. From, never the, gonna from the school it. of... Uh, no, no, I'm not going to mispronounce it. You know, once I know, I know. Like one of his victory poses is like when he does the hand Oh, yeah, you got to do the, the signals, right? The hand signs. The, the, I call it the Naruto signs, but I don't know what, what it is. It's a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. Raven does it. Yeah, Raven is, has done it since second five. I haven't seen Master Raven do it before, even though Master Raven is, according to the Lord Daru. Because Master Raven is the G. Master Raven doesn't have to do it. He could do the, the, the stuff without the hand signals. That's like the super advanced ninja technique. Can't give away what you're doing, right? She also has a cooler teleport than uh, Raven. I yeah, think. For, for sure. Oh, wow. All right, we're going to get into this. This is our last match on the stream. UK versus Denmark. We have Master Raven versus, most likely, Josie, Josie Rizal. Josie Rizal. Adnanish, also known as Blackbeard, one of the best Josies in Europe, arguably the world. Yeah. yeah. One of the few that can win tournaments with her, I'll say yeah. that. I don't think there's one other tournament, I think it was Master Cup, where with Kagemaru. Kagemaru. He ended up winning it for his entire team, yeah. With that reverse uh, reverse uh, clutch? Correct. Reverse Josie sweep. Result. Reverse sweep. Thank and uh, recently in Korea, uh, uh, Secret used Josie and ended up winning a tournament there as well. So there are a few Josie players that are able to win in each region, which is great. All right, here we go. Final match of the day. Pool number 16. Winner of this will make it out on the winner's side top 32. Loser will have another chance, but they'll have to win one more match. And it, it's what we expected, Master Raven versus Josie. Yeah. So District G, the Phantom versus Blackbeard. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Round one. Fight. You know they're both pretty aggressive players. You know? Yeah, you know, and, and that's what I like to see. Just... I want to see them go in. I want to see some creativity, especially with the combos and what they do on wake up. Oh, yeah, what a wow. sidestep there! Beautiful. Look at the adjustment there on the combo. Now he should be able to push towards the wall. He he's gonna get. Wall. He's gonna get some big damage. Oh, got him with the wall rising. 
Oh, nice he conversion. He might be able to close it out here. Could be. Uh oh, no. one mix up down. No. Oh. He ducked, but he was a bit too far from it. Oh, nope. he went right through. The teleport again. And the up forward four able to take it. So oh. the Phantom taking the first round. Oh, Phantom. nice block. Great punish. Nice. nice. He should Phantom. be able to get to the wall here, too. Back and turn. Look at the, the damage. A back one oh, no. mix up. He went for the Oki. Yeah, he went for the Oki for sure. Oh, my gosh. Wow. He's, he's working it right now. Nice punish. Good punish. What? Still got rage. Look at the aggression. Look how aggressive they are. Uh, you have rage. You might as well start hitting. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Round three. The Phantom really knows how to use that move. Oh, there we go, another launch. Oh, here we go. Might Look at this. He is going slope. in. He is putting it work. This is going to be a three straight round kill in this first match. Not like this, Maybe. Blackbeard. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, the Phantom is in good position here. He is yeah. feeling himself. If he gets this next win, he is going to be on our winner's side top 32 and we will be playing tomorrow. They're going back to stage select here, and we're going to the precipice of fate. This is not a good stage. Someone's going to get dropped off the cliff. <laughs> and right now, the Phantom is looking like the person that's going to be doing the dropping. Yeah. That was three straight rounds. So Jeez. dominant there. Even though, like, uh, Adnanesh did a lot of damage. Uh, Blackbeard uh, was really aggressive with his Josie. Maybe too aggressive? Maybe. It got him in a lot of trouble. But, I mean, I think a lot of it had to do with just the mix-ups that uh, the Phantom was employing in the matchup. It really kind of overwhelmed Josie there. Mm-hmm. Round one. Let's see Fight. if he can find his focus back. Wow. Right out the gates here, trying to go all over the place. A forward four again, landing. No this break. time getting the double break throw. Not looking good. No. Oh, his back turn. Oh, yeah, the back turn parry. Good with punish. Yeah, nice punish there. He's baiting for that. He's baiting for that. Nice second hit lands. And he's just still just whittling away at her life bar. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh oh, looking to close it out. I mean, what you gonna do? Oh, this time gets a float, but that was out of the air, so it's not gonna do too much damage. Close to the wall. Oh, the mm, down one. I like it. Yeah. Playing nice and clean there. That down forward one, able to close it out, and just like that, the Phantom continuing his reign four rounds straight. Oh, size it. Oh no, he just got the uh, market. Now he's going to push towards the wall here. Doesn't get it, though. Oh, nice. nice. Duck. No Mini punish. duck, right? No. It's, it's very hard because that's so prone to counter hit if you press any buttons. Yeah. All right, again, getting that throw. He's been getting a ton of mileage out of that. It hasn't been broken yet. Oh, caught him. Probably should have. Oh, man, going the other way. Again back to it. What? Wow, What's what are happening? they doing? They're going both sides again. Jumping all over the place. Oh, has the wall this time. Nice adjustment. Able to continue. Oh, oh, look at that. Extension after extension. Those were three walls. Yeah, but will Blackbeard finally get on the scoreboard here? Maybe. Oh, oh. that's a whiff. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Gets the mid again, and look at that. Blackbeard finally getting around there. So tied up one round apiece. Oh, the nice launch there with the quarter circle forward four. The follow up here, pushing towards the wall. This is going to hurt big time. Next damage are okay. again, Oki. Okay. Yeah. Good duck. Ugh. Try to get the 4 4 2 afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a duck. Goes for the wall setting. No, Phantom knows the matchup. You can see it, man. Oh, yeah. And looking to close it out here. One more hit can do it. He'll go up two rounds ah. to one. And just like that, one round away from moving on to the winner's side. Top 32. Blackbeard bet it all on that uh, launch. Yeah. He's struggling right now. Look, yeah. he gets the follow up there on the juggle. Going upstairs. Now going to push towards the wall as well. Has a good opportunity here. He has, oh my gosh. Why did he parry? Yeah, not sure why he went for that. He was maybe trying to show off the ninja signs, right? But the Phantom is on the verge here of shutting down Blackbeard. He's so good with his teleports. Oh, nice down for two. Yeah, good adjustment there. Had to yeah. modify the combo. Oh my gosh. That wasn't it. The follow-up did not work out. No duck there on the last hit. Did the full swing. You can also parry the third hit as well. Oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, he got too early. 
Uh oh. Looking real dangerous. Oh, right? got oh, him. Splat. Okay, nice combo. I like it. Oh, there and he we caught go. him with it. And he drive. should be able to close it out. Oh, wow. So we're going to the final round here, match number two. Oh, wow. Blackbeard staying alive. Wants to keep his winner's side, top 32 hopes alive. Yeah. Caught him again, out of the air. Nice adjustment, gets the wall. Pop. Oh, this is the last hit. hit, a little bit too low. Yeah. But the Phantom, looking to fight back now, has good positioning. Yeah. Good throw break as well, nice duck on the screen, but... Uh-oh, the landing's kind of slided off the wall there, down four. Almost leaving a life. I feel like Phantom may be playing with him here. Yeah. Good. Uh oh, looking to close oh, it out. There it see. is. The Phantom makes it to the top 32 on the winner's side, shutting down Blackbeard along the way. Blackbeard just nodding. Up. Yeah, Blackbeard's going to have another chance. He's just going to have to win one more match to get out of the loser's bracket, but we'll find out whether or not he's going to make it. Of course, I urge you guys to make sure you guys stay tuned to our Twitter where you'll find out more information, of course. But, man, is there anything you want to say to the Tekken fans before we come back tomorrow? Well, I just want to say I want to thank you for commenting. Oh, man, also, it's been a pleasure. Man, it's, uh, I was a little bit nervous because, you know, standing next to a legend like Oh, you, man, don't, don't even. Just no. have fun. Enjoy some good-ass Tekken with me and good just talk Tekken. about it. Wow, that's amazing. And also the crowd here 